life in the 21st century has, you know, we have so, so many luxuries and conveniences, cell phones, maps, being able to go anywhere you want instantly without getting lost, uh, connected to the world, all of the information. But with that, it seems like people are sometimes sad or depressed because they forget fundamental little important things that are good for your mind. Um, things like, you know, accomplishment or routines. People get frustrated so easy nowadays um, and they just go and post about it on social media or if something's not going their way, they just complain about life, you know, and I think it's important to put things in perspective and realize how good we actually have it, especially here in America, you know, uh, there's all this stuff going on right now in the world and we really just have it, you know, so much, so much better than so many people, especially after traveling around the world, you know, and seeing how other people live and hanging out with people that are from all other walks of life. It's, I think it's really important to be able to step back and and remember simple basic things in life you know like if you have a challenge figure it out on yourself if you accomplish something and you do something on your own it feels really good and if you're having a bad day or you didn't get something that you wanted or whatever just try to remember some people don't get anything they want some people don't even have the freedom to say what they want um, so make these videos and some of them pretty pretty you know unexciting the very normal things but I think those normal things are important doing just simple stuff sometimes brings you the most happiness and I think people consider me a fairly happy person so I'm gonna post a few more videos of me doing just super normal stuff things that happen in my daily life that I just get over figure out just make it happen you know just everyday normal things. Check it out. This, this little gym right here is a spoke from my wheelchair. I was in Lowe's and the spoke just fell out of my wheel. And it only has like 12 spokes. So when one is missing, the wheel kind of goes a little wonky. So it was rubbing on my leg the whole time I was in Lowe's. It was really hard to push. It's, uh, you know, the wheel is just rubbing on my thigh. And so, I don't have any way to hold my camera. I'll show it to you. Uh, hold on. That's the hole for the missing spoke. And uh, I figure it'll be easier to replace it when the, my weight's not on the wheelchair. I'm currently in my vehicle still. I'm going to try to hand thread it in there, hand tighten it, but remember, my fingers don't work super good, so I think we'll be able to get this in there, but you know, it's not a big deal, like, shit could be way, way worse, annoying as shit, going through lows, tire rubbing on your thigh, then you think, god, what a first world problem, like, it's people that don't even have drinking water in the planet. Families get murdered or, or just broke as shit living in a tent. And I, you know, this spoke, just not a big deal. Whoa. Now I have to fetch the spoke too. But I'm gonna fix this. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a picture or a video here in a minute if I get it done. Get it done temporarily and then I'm gonna go inside and get some vice grips and try to tighten it all the way. See if I can do it on my own with the... Uh, yeah, with paralyzed fingers. We'll see how this goes. Wish me luck.
What's up, world? So, here's the culprit right here. I just got it started and I figured I could just put my phone down here so you guys could see what kind of what I was doing. Ugh. I don't have good grip, you know, so I've just been like whittling it back into the hole. It's going though, it's not lifting back out, so. Ugh. Ugh. I think I'm getting it pretty good actually. Mm -mm -mm. There's not a ton of room in here to make the wheelchair do a complete 180 and me turn sideways on my seat to sit backwards like this so that's why I'm sitting kind of funny with my face against the tire. And I don't have ab muscles, so I don't really have good balance. Kind of like if I wasn't leaning against the tire, I would just fall on the floor. So <laughs> it's a challenge. <sighs> cool. I think whatever I'm screwing into inside the rim. Oh, there it goes actually. Okay. That is as tight as I'm going to get this thing by hand. Ugh. Got it. <laughs> so, I know these videos aren't like super cool. I'm not driving the new Supra or doing some crazy shit, stunt, crazy YouTube stuff, but this is real life stuff, man. This is, uh, this is what I go through on a daily basis, you know. I wake up every day with a smile. People always give me compliments on it, so I figured. Even if these don't get a ton of views or whatever, like, might as well document some of it. Maybe it'll make someone's day. Hope it does. And there you have it. Another video of me doing super simple, super basic things. And I promise, as I get a hang of this YouTube stuff and we're allowed to travel more and get back out, you know, I'll, I'll do some more entertaining videos. I do have a pretty fun life, but... These basic things I truly feel are important. If you can't set yourself up to succeed in the simplest task like fixing the spoke on your wheel, how are you going to succeed at life's bigger challenges, the, the more important tasks that come your way? So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And like I said, I promise I'll do some cool stuff here in the near future. I really appreciate your time. Have a good one.